All right, in this lesson, I'm gonna be talking about airless spray tips. So we are using airless sprayers to apply paint, you know, to um, our exteriors, because we can paint faster and more efficient, you know, with an airless sprayer. So airless sprayers use tips. What size tips do I use when it comes to painting an, ex an exterior? Now I've gone um, through a wide variety of tips, you know, over my uh, career, experimented with different tips, different sizes, different fan widths, different orifice sizes, and eventually came down to two tips tips that I use on every exterior and this is the only two tips I typically ever use. A 515 tip for um, the body, uh, garage doors, man doors. Overspray is a big topic, you know, uh, that people are, uh, you know, really concerned about. It's a big liability. One way to control overspray is by the tip you use and a 515 is um, a great tip. It's a good overall size also. So if, if you don't understand tip sizing, you take the first number so we got 515 you got a five and then a one and a five the first number doubled at 12 inches from the surface is going to be your fan width five multiplied by two and you got 10 inches so uh 12 inches from the surface you're going to have a 10 inch fan width now the second two digits of the tip size is the orifice size so how big is the hole that the paint is actually going through in the tip and the, the orifice um is that that number itself you know, is a represent a rep representation of the size and I'm not sure we'll have to look it up in millimeters or decimeters. I don't know. It's one of those numbers. Like a 515, the orifice size is a 15. A 1221, the orifice size is a 21. A 21 is significantly bigger than a, uh, a, a 15. A 310, the orifice size is a 10. And so it's significantly smaller than a 515. You know, there's times when you don't want a ton of paint going onto the surface because it might run due to the product that you're using. You'll drop down in an orifice size. So you can control the overspray by the fan width. You can also control overspray and um, lost product by the orifice size. For quite a few years, I used a 619 and a 619 is going to give you a big fan, a bigger fan width, and it's going to be a bigger oversize. So it's going to throw out more paint. If you feel like you're going too slow with a 515, you want to speed it up. Uh, going to a 619 is going to give you the ability to go faster. You know, eventually I came to, you know, the speed that I need to go with a 515, the overlap I need to go with a 515, and it worked really well. It's a great tip to teach new people to use also on exteriors. When it came to new construction exteriors, we actually were even using 1221s because you, you don't, you're not concerned about overspray because it's just dirt everywhere. Most of the houses aren't even painted. There's um, no people living in the houses. It's new construction. And so you can actually paint extremely fast, you know, with a 1221. But we're talking, you know, actually repaints, um, a lot of liability with overspray, with um, close by neighbors you know, um, vehicles um, in the neighborhood and stuff like that. So 515, you know, to me is um, my recommended tip size for doing extra repaints for the body, garage, man doors, etc. Now I'll talk about a 310. A 310 tip is what I use to paint a front door and what I paint, uh, use to paint gutters. 70% of the houses have gutters on them. Uh, they are powder coated finishes, uh, kind of like a front door. A front door is uh, typically a metal front door and we want a smooth, um, you know, glass-like finish on the front door. You get better atomization, you get better control with a uh, 310 and a better finish in the end. We're typically using a 310 fine finish tip. And a fine finish tip is gonna atomize the paint on the droplets, the paint smaller, it's gonna lay it out better. It's not gonna lay it out so heavy that it's gonna take a long time for it to dry. A 310 is a good width, a good fan width. It covers, you know, at one pass um, the face of the gutter, one pass the bottom of the gutter. A 310, you know, it's a six inch fan width and 310 is great for spraying the front doors. You got you got to spray the edges, typically, um, sometimes the bottom and the top, and you're not gonna have a lot of overspray with a 310. Uh, sometimes we're using a 310 to do the downspouts also. A lot of times I don't even change. I'm on, I got a 515. I just use the 515 for the downspouts, but you will get a lot of overspray. You know, if you're spraying them in grass, if you're spraying them on, on the driveway, definitely want to have drop cloths. But if you're concerned about overspray, uh, you, uh, spray your downspouts with a 310 also. Those are the two tip size. A 515 and a 310 is typically, uh, you know, what I use. I want to talk about HEA tips. So they're high efficiency airless tips uh, by Titan. They run at low pressures, um, 800 to 1100 PSI. 
And from my um, testing and experimenting, you know, on an exterior, the droplets are a lot bigger with an HEA tab. So you're, you will what um, I found, you know, if you're over walkways, driveways, et cetera, or you're spraying like soffits overhead, you're getting a lot more um, wet overspray fallout. So you're going to be getting, you know, wet paint falling in your face. If it's not flash drying before it hits the ground because the droplets are too, uh, too big, you're going to get wet overspray landing on um, driveways, sidewalks, et cetera, stuff like that. HEA tips are great tips uh, for interior painting where uh, I don't think where you don't have to worry about overspray. They do give a really nice, um, good feathered fan on it uh, versus production tips that give kind of more of a sharp edge. I do like them for um, interior painting, especially for uh, ceilings. I'll talk about Graco Rack X LP tips. They're low pressure tips, kind of like a version of an HEA tip. A lot of these manufacturers of airless tips are going to low pressure because of people's fear for overspray. I don't think they really like resolve the problem by going to low pressure, reducing overspray because once again, LP tips, same thing. They have um, a bigger droplet. The bigger droplet is more likely going to fall onto, you know, uh, what you don't want to get wet paint on and cause, you know, issues, cleanup issues, liability issues. The Rack X, the LP tips that are fine finish tips. So like if you're using a 310, from my experimenting, they come out uh, too eggshelly of a finish. And so they don't come out like really glassy. The atomization is not breaking up the, the the, the paints, the, the droplets of paint fine enough to give you a really fine finish. I just thought it just looked too egg shelly. I steer away from HEA tips, uh, Rack X LP tips, or Rack tips, Graco tips on the exterior of a house. I do um, have a recommendation when it comes to a fine finish tip. You know, fine finish tips, I think um, Tritec nowadays, um, I think in the past, Graco was kind of like the leader, you know, in um, the tip industry and making, you know, good quality tips and the best fine finish tips. I think eventually um, they kind of ruined that by going low pressure. You know, in my opinion, um, Titan uh, started making better production tips and better, you know, fine finish tips. And then I think um, Tritec eventually came out with a new fine finish tip that is kind of like leading the industry, in my opinion, when it comes to fine finishes. So if you're after fine finish, when it comes to cabinets um, front and front doors on the next year, you want to um, give Tritec a try. Bedford Tips is a manufacturer, you know, um, and they're not, you know, one of the, the big major names that everybody knows about, but Bedford, you know, manufactures sprayer parts. And they've recently got into um, manufacturing uh, airless sprayer tips and guns and I've tested their tips. Their parts, their uh, repacking kits and, and parts for airless sprayers are um, just as good if not better than OEM uh, uh, parts and I feel like the, the tips do last as long, create a great finish. And one thing about Bedford is they're cheaper and they're actually significantly cheaper. So, you know, a lot of people kind of steer away from them because they don't, they've never heard the name, but I've tested them. I like them. I use them. Uh, they work in a standard Titan guard, Bedford guard, or Tritec guard. They won't work in a Rack X guard. They do make uh, fine finish tips and they make production tips. I wouldn't say I'm not a fan, but I don't use their fine finish tips, but I use their production tips. And it is um, a recommendation for you if, if um, you know, spending uh, you know, money on tips is something that really you know, hits your pocketbook you know, pretty heavily because they're not cheap. I'll just hit it like really quick. You know, how long does a tip last? You know, fine finish tips, about 20 gallons, and the tip and orifice size are blown out. Your production tips, on average, almost all production tips, about 60 to 80 gallons, you know, they're worn out and blown out. And what does that mean? The orifice size actually is, as soon as you start spraying uh, paint through an airless tip, uh, there's, you know, clays and um, fillers in all paints that act as abrasive, like a sandpaper. They start sanding basically the orifice size, you know, um, of an airless tip and enlarging the orifice size, making it bigger and uh, changing the pattern. So an airless tip typically has like an oval spray pattern. As the orifice size gets larger, that oval um, starts to turn circular. Then your droplets of paint, 
get large, a lot larger, and um, they're not atomized as well, and the pattern begins to change, and that happens pretty rapidly, you know, with uh, uh, tips. One major manufacturer that I, um, you know, spoke to, they tested all the tips across the board, and one of the studies showed that even with theirs, um, like a 517 tip within uh, 20 gallons was uh, blown to a, a 517 tip. So it, it, within 20 gallons, it already changed a whole tip size orifices wise and then then that kind of like um, the curve started to you know fall off from there and it didn't wear the tip out as fast as the first 20 gallons but you got to know it does change so if you're concerned about overspray using blown out tips you're gonna have a lot of overspray you're gonna have a lot of fallout so don't use the tips longer than you should you know if you're concerned about overspray